Captain. I note your defensive systems have been activated. And while everybody knows there are certain foods that damage our health, I've actually figured out which ones are, why they damage our health defense systems. But more importantly, I want to focus on the good things that you should eat because I, I'm kind of a foodie. I love food. I wouldn't say I love eating, but I, I love food. And I think food tells us something about our our childhood, our culture, our families, um, our traditions. Um, and so there's an intimate relationship with our food. And the great news is that many foods, um, uh, including foods that we mix together, and this is the whole point about food synergies, activate our body's health defenses. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. That was Dr. William Lee. Dr. Lee isn't your average doctor. He's a superstar physician and researcher on a mission to prove that what you eat can be the most powerful weapon in your health arsenal. Forget about endless medications Dr. Lee believes the key to preventing and even reversing chronic diseases like cancer and heart disease lies on your plate which can result in a longer healthier life. Think of him as a food Indiana Jones, except instead of searching for buried treasure, he's uncovering the hidden potential within everyday ingredients. As president of the Angiogenesis Foundation, Dr. Lee leads the charge in studying how food impacts the intricate network of blood vessels throughout our bodies. This forward-thinking research has led him to champion a single-ingredient food approach avoiding ultra-processed foods, packed with powerful ingredients that can transform your health. His best-selling book, Eat to Beat Disease, has become a global phenomenon, and for good reason. Dr. Lee is more than just a researcher, he's a passionate advocate for using delicious, natural foods to supercharge your well-being from the inside out. This video describes five breakfast options that are packed with Dr. Lee's Grand Slammer foods, that is, foods that are believed to activate all five health defense systems in the body. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it, if you can subscribe and like, this helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. In the defense system and... Uh... Which Dr. Lee defines as the angiogenesis system keeps blood vessels healthy. Immune system fights infection. Inflammation system reduces chronic inflammation. Insulin resistance system regulates blood sugar. Gut microbiome system supports healthy gut bacteria. Each of these breakfasts provide a delicious and nutritious start to your day, promoting overall health and well-being. Okay. No defense system. Now, Dr. Lee will talk about some of the ingredients in the first breakfast. Multiple Kryptonian defense systems engage. All right, and berries. Put berries in there because I'll tell you the amazing thing about berries, they are kind of the candy of nature, mm. right? They're small, they're beautiful, mm. they're sweet. Mm. Um, you can eat a bunch of them. Uh, I, I'm, that's why candies, I just, there, are, there are candies that are shaped like berries, right? So the, the, the thing about berries though is that they are a great source of vitamin C, they've got great antioxidants, they also have these polyphenols that are kick ass and dietary fiber as well of course uh the the key thing is you know this is where all not all calories are the same yeah uh, uh fruit contains so many other good things that along with the natural sugars which are most for most people your body can actually tackle you're getting all this other benefits uh that that you wouldn't be getting if you had a can of soda with just added sugar to it right so that's the key thing sugar isn't all sugar because the thing that is contained in is going to be different next ingredient kiwi fruit Right? Everybody's seen a kiwi. It's like this monkey ball shaped thing, furry. Cut it down the middle, open it up. It's got this bright green um, uh, flesh, really juicy and sweet. It's packed with vitamin C and other vitamins. And there have been studies in humans, clinical studies, in which they've actually taken young people and measured their blood at the beginning and looked at their DNA, how well it does, how well it can protect itself. And then they gave them one kiwi. And they and they ate them and they measured after a couple of days that eating that one kiwi can protect their DNA, increase it by 60 percent. So you can just eat one kiwi a day and it pops up your defense mechanisms. If you eat three kiwis a day, it helps your DNA rebuild itself. So it actually repairs itself. So, you know, here's a simple, lowly kiwi fruit, you know, like I'll, I might have one for breakfast, for example, that can actually do a lot for you. And now the first breakfast. One, berry chia power pudding bowl for the base. A half cup flax seeds soaked overnight in almond milk or coconut milk with a squeeze of lemon juice for fiber and healthy fats. Topped with your choice of sliced fresh berries, blueberries, cherries, raspberries, antioxidants, chopped kiwi and nectarine. 
vitamin C and fiber, sprinkle of chopped walnuts and pumpkin seeds, protein and healthy fats, drizzle of honey optional for sweetness, bonus, grate a touch of dark chocolate for an extra antioxidant boost. Next, Dr. Lee will discuss some of the Grand Slammer ingredients in the second breakfast. There are foods that just can actually automatically boost our immune system by themselves. Mm. One of them is mango. You know, I love mangoes. They're juicy, sweet, filled with fiber. They got lots of vitamins and they also have bioactives. And, and I call them mango, by the way, mangoes and stone fruit, grand slammers of foods. These are foods, a whole table of foods I have in my, um, in my uh, book that all activate all five um, uh, defense systems at the same time, including the immune system. So you can slam it out of the park by eating these foods. Mango is one of my favorites tasty, juicy, sweet, you get vitamins, good minerals, and it actually contains these natural bioactives that actually can help boost your immune system. Next ingredient. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I am at the market once again, and I want to show you a couple of things that I found that I think is worthy of showing you, sharing with you. Okay, so I don't go around trashing other people's products, but I want to show you amazing things that I'm actually looking at. Check this out, kale, right? Kale is a brassica. It contains uh, healthy bioactives uh, like isothiocyanates, hard to pronounce, ITCs. They uh, create sulforaphanes and the things that make broccoli take, taste kind of sulfury. Uh, but it's really good for you. It's good for your immune system, good for cancer fighting, good for your circulation, good for your gut microbiome. Most of these uh, uh, kale has a good source of dietary fiber. You always think about kale as one thing, right? Like this. Always think about kale looking like this. That's your mother's kale. Let me show you some really cool kale. This is a kind of kale called laxinato, also called dinosaur kale. Doesn't this look like dinosaur skin? Check it out. Jurassic kale, that's what this is. All right, laxinato, it's also called cavalinero. A lot of people don't know, but this kind of kale, dinosaur kale, is what's used to create minestrone soup. You know those little black um, uh, little squares in the soup floating around? That is dinosaur kale, uh, laxinato kale, Tuscan kale is a different. Now, I want to show you something that is more unusual, because I haven't seen this before. Spigarallo kale. Look at this. Spigarallo kale. Wow. Very different, huh? Look at that, it looks like a arugula almost. Um, but this is a kind of kale, and it just shows you how many different types of healthy foods there are. Look at this right here, right? Looks like, like growing to the sea or something. Healthy, good, good for you. If you don't know how to actually cook something, um, I have no idea how to cook spigarello kale. What I recommend you do is to type it into Google, spigarello kale, for example, uh, Tuscan kale, dinosaur kale, recipe, and hit video, and watch somebody who knows what they're doing show you how to make something absolutely delicious. So if you want to learn more about food as medicine and really cool foods that you might not have thought about to light up your health defenses, light up your metabolism, light up your life, get to better longevity, uh, come over and uh, follow me, sign up for uh, my uh, stuff on my website, uh, or uh, www.drdrwilliamlee.com. And um, by the way, I do teach a course, online course called Eat to Beat Disease Course. This is a deep dive with me. I take you with me on this journey of how to use food as medicine, foods that taste great. All right, Dr. Lee out. Defense system offline. Um, right. And now the second breakfast. Two, tropical green smoothie. Blend together. One cup chopped frozen mango. High in vitamins A and C. One to cup kale for antioxidants and vitamins. A half cup unsweetened almond milk. One scoop protein powder unflavored or vanilla. One tablespoon flax seeds, fiber and omega-3s. Drizzle of olive oil for healthy fats. Some more Grand Slammer ingredients in the third breakfast. Defense system online. Hey there, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite fruits. This is a peach, one of my favorite summer fruits, juicy. You can smell the fragrance. The peach actually comes from Asia. Uh, actually was transplanted and transported along the Silk Road. 
and it's got chlorogenic acid. This is actually a bioactive that uh, actually does a lot of things. It um, cuts off the blood supply to tumors. It actually helps to protect stem cells, your health defenses. Also good for gut health, and it's also got a good amount of dietary fiber. Uh, but the interesting thing about chlorogenic acid is it actually helps your metabolism by fighting body fat. So you can activate your good fat and fight your bad fat using chlorogenic acid. Plus, it's just a juicy, great fruit to select during the summer. What you want to do is you want to smell it, and it should actually smell really good. And by the way, yellow peaches actually tend to be a little bit sweeter and juicier than white peaches. But white peaches are also delicate and great. Next ingredient. You guys, some, some of you have been seeing these. These are the walnuts. Walnuts are some of my favorite. Walnuts have actually been shown to improve your immune system by activating, feeding your gut microbiome. And when that actually happens, it actually makes your body respond better to uh, medic medicines. Specifically, the study was done in patients with colon cancer, stage three colon cancer, getting regular cancer treatment, um, including nuts in their diet, actually lowered their mortality by more than 50%. So here's an example of something that your doctor's not gonna prescribe, but that I would actually encourage you to eat if you're battling cancer, feed your gut, improve your immune system, help your immune, your own bodies, the health defenses, fight disease. And of course, a uh, good, healthy immune system also prevents diseases uh, as well. The third Grand Slammer breakfast. Three, sprouted power pancakes. Pancakes made with sprouted whole wheat flour added nutrients. One egg and one egg white. Protein, a quarter cup unsweetened almond milk. Slice fresh peaches and plums, which have vitamins and fiber. Sprinkle of chopped walnuts and sunflower seeds for protein and healthy fats. Drizzle of dark chocolate syrup made with cocoa powder and a touch of honey. And now, a grand slammer food that Dr. Lee loves, that is in the fourth breakfast. Defense system is offline. So, so another thing that I personally love, and again, you know, this is my informed opinion. I like this category of food called stone fruit. And those are very seasonal and uh, they grow in trees and they have a little stone in the middle, like an apricot. Um, but it turns out the flesh uh, and the color of, the, of these are very bright um, and they're, they actually have a lot of sweetness to them, rich with polyphenols and the skin of these fruits also contains something called ursolic acid. So you want to actually have good blood flow. As we get older, our blood flow naturally kind of slows down, doesn't get as, isn't as good as it should be. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like an old set of piping, a uh, plumbing. So you want to keep the plumbing working really, really well. That's our, our circulation. So ursolic acid helps us keep good blood flow, yeah. helps us regenerate our blood vessels when we need to. Critical for brain health. So gut health and brain health, it's not just simply the gut brain access through the microbiome. The circulation is also really important. The fourth breakfast. Four, overnight oats delight. Prepare overnight. A half cup rolled oats soaked in a mixture of almond milk, chopped apricots, and a pinch of cinnamon for better blood sugar control. In the morning, top with a handful of blueberries and cherries for powerful antioxidants. One tablespoon flaxseed meal, fiber and omega-3 S. Sprinkle of sesame seeds for added minerals. Orbital defense system compromised. And now, Dr. Lee will talk about some of the Grand Slammer ingredients in the final breakfast. Green tea has polyphenols called catechins. They help to fire up our brown fat to burn down harmful white fat so they consume fuel. When fat goes down, your metabolism will actually naturally rise at any age, even middle age people. And by the way, you're also burning away harmful body fat packed inside the tube of your body and eventually it will also start to affect the fat that you can see in the mirror. I do recommend about three cups of green tea a day. That's where the good stuff starts to happen in your body. Tea leaves or tea bags can actually be used over and over and over again. We don't actually have to throw it out and get a whole new pot. Just put some loose leaf tea, hot water, and you can sip that all day long and you'll probably have more than three cups over the course of a day. Next ingredient. Well, it turns out that extra virgin olive oil turns out to be really helpful for our stem cells. It protects our stem cells as we age. And not surprisingly, in the blue zones, those parts of the world where people live really to healthy, ripe old ages, over 100, for example, centenarians, they tend to eat olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, which, by the way, comes from a plant. It's a plant-based healthy fat. And now for the final Grand Slammer breakfast. Five, savory scramble with Grand Slammer twist. Scrambled eggs made with chopped spinach, chopped mushrooms, and a sprinkle of turmeric, which has anti-inflammatory properties. 
served with a half cup sliced avocado, healthy fats and fiber, side of sliced kiwi and a cup of green tea, antioxidants and metabolism boost. Bonus! Drizzle with a touch of extra virgin olive oil for extra healthy fats. Skynet defense system We're in. now activated. The slogan I always give people is, love your food to love your health. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.